Hi, I'm Becky Price and I am an area coordinator for Allison's Pantry and I'm also a sales rep here in Rock Springs, Wyoming. This training session will be on how to do inventory of your order once you've received it from the truck. Now, once you get delivery and you get all your product into where you're going to do your business, you're going to take the invoice. Now I find it's very easy to take my invoice and mark off the sections because the invoice is by section in the warehouse. So you have section 01, section 02, 03, 04, 05, and then section 11 is our frozen section. So I like to make a line on my invoice with red pen to separate my sections. It makes it easier to do them. And I'm going to start with frozen. We definitely want to get frozen into the freezers right away. We don't want any product getting defrosted and that would lower the quality of it. So let's get to doing inventory of our frozen. Okay, there are a lot of different ways to do inventory. The most important thing is that you do a complete inventory of everything that you've received to make sure you have it. So we know if you were shorted something, if you got something extra you shouldn't have gotten and it belongs to someone else, or if something was damaged. And we can take care of those things right away instead of a week down the road when you discover somebody's missing something as you go to pull a customer's order. So complete inventory is essential. Now everybody has different situations and different setups. So I'm going to go through how I do inventory. I have five freezers to put my frozen items in. And so I have them organized by type. I have one freezer for my frozen meats, the steaks, the bacons and pork products and my chicken products. I have one freezer for my potato products and my bread products. I have a freezer I put my frozen vegetables, my frozen fruits, my frozen soups and any odds and ends that don't fit in somewhere else. I have a freezer to put all the goodies, the cakes, the pies, the cookies, all those good things go into one and then I have an overflow because sometimes I have a lot of meat and so I use that as my overflow and I put those extra boxes in there. Alright, so now as you begin doing inventory, as you go through your items, you're going to find that they've got one of two kinds of labels. The first one is an Allison's Pantry label. It's going to have the item number. This one has number 7639, and it's the Foster Farms Cheese and Jalapeno Corn Dogs. I want you to see what this looks like here. See that? It's got the item number and the description, so it's going to be very easy to find this on your invoice and mark it off. Okay, then we have this farmland smoked pulled pork, and this one has a really neat item number with a barcode that the warehouse is now putting on items. See there, number 5586. So you'll now be able to very easily find the items that you need on your invoice, mark them off, and get them put into your freezer. Any box that has red tape, you must open these. That means there's more than one item in there, or in this case, frozen blueberries, there's going to be two five pound bags and we only sell them by the bag. So you definitely want to open up every single box that has red tape on them. Please be really careful because you're going to have to use a knife or scissors. We don't want to puncture product. So open up your boxes. And verify what's in here. And we've got our bags of blueberry. Okay, as you open up all of your boxes that have the red tape in them, some of these items are not going to have stickers on them. Um, they just, they won't stay on. So, you're going to have to look really closely at the description on these. So this one is our Grande Classics Normandy Blend. This item number is 1266. And you need to find it on your invoice and then mark it off. Okay, we are all done doing inventory of all the frozen. Everything's a put away, and now we'll go to our refrigerated. Now, I just want to remind you that the refrigerated boxes will have blue tape on them, so we want to open them up. Do inventory of our refrigerated items, which is usually our cheese products, okay, and get them put into your refrigerator, all right? Okay, um, when I do dry inventory I like to have everything out where I can see it so as you can see behind me I have emptied out every one of my boxes out onto my freezer and I try to keep them together because the warehouse tries to load them by section so that when you go to do inventory on your inventory sheet most of everything's going to be close by each other and so what I do when I do inventory is I go right to left along um, in a U shape 
around and I just make sure I've accounted for every single product. Warehouse will try to put the item number on here with the sticker. So 1038, I verify number 1038. I'm supposed to have one of them. So I do a tick mark for one and that's all I need. So I put a number one on here and I want to show you how I do this so that you can see. With multiple products, I want to also show you what I do, have done with the Frozen. So on the back page I'll show you the Frozen. See how I've gone? This item I had two of them, so I tick marked two of them. And when I had both of them, then I put the number two. So what I can do now is, when I get done with inventory, I can very easily look down this left column, and you can see that I've been able to account for all the products I should have gotten. We are done with inventory, and I have everything I'm supposed to have. However, when you finish your inventory, if you are missing something that is listed on your invoice, but it is not here, you need to let your AC know because that means you have a short and we need to try and find that item for you, at least to be able to account for it. If you have an extra item that is not listed on your invoice, but you ended up with it, we also need to know about that. That's called an extra and it could belong to somebody else. And so we need to know about those. And then as you've unloaded your products, if you come across something that's damaged, whether it's been cut and contents have fallen out, a container is broken, we need to know about those. You don't have to pay for damaged items, depends on the, how damaged it is, whether or not we'll ask you to try and sell it at a discount, but we definitely need to notify your AC as soon as possible so that we can help you to deal with any issues with your order, but everything's good to go. The next step is to print your invoices and get your customer orders separated out and ready for them to come pick up.